So I think it's safe to say that I am obsessed with this guy, Tom Francis. Hello, darlings, and welcome to Performance Perspective, where we watch different performances and then we share our perspective. If you're new here, hey, I'm Care Darling, and if you're not, yes, I will be giving some more context. Um, if you have been following me, you might have saw that I saw and Juliet at the West End, which Tom Francis was in, and he was playing the role of Romeo. And I have to say, oh my gosh, he was so good, and I fell in love with his voice. And I guess the reason why I knew I loved his voice is because it reminded me of Adam Pascal. Today we will be reacting to Tom Francis singing Glory from Rent. Now in case you don't understand why my excitement for Adam Pascal uh, is, it's because he's the original Roger in Rent. His story is actually interesting as far as how he got the role. There was a, a cattle call, in case you don't know, cattle call means when uh, the roles are open to anybody, anyone could come in and audition. So it's like, I, I guess it's kind of derogatory, isn't it? But oh well. That's what it is, like anyone could come in and they just move on in. Um, but because his voice was so unique and this was his first Broadway thing because usually he was in rock bands and stuff. So yeah, he has more of that rocker edge and it was perfect for the role. Now, in case you're wondering, no one's gonna ask, but I'll tell you, I saw Adam Pascal as Harold Hill in The Music Man and I didn't know that I needed like a rock edgy sort of, oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is, I loved it. I honestly did. It might be one of my favorites. So yeah, I, I told a friend of mine that Tom Francis reminded me of Adam Pascal and similar to his story, um, he is a farm boy. <laughs> Get it? Because Adam had a cattle call, but he comes from... Okay, sorry, I'll stop. Um, let's just get into the video of Tom Francis singing Glory. Now, for some context. In case you don't know Rent, uh, Roger is a musician and has been trying to write a song. Roger is having a hard time coming up with something, and it could be because he's putting a lot on himself. His girlfriend April has died due to AIDS, and Roger is also diagnosed. So he's questioning what is it he's leaving behind. Like, okay. <laughs> One song, glory, one song before I go, glory, one song to leave behind, fine. Ooh. I know, right? Okay, to be perfectly honest, I actually don't care for the direction that this scene has. And it may be, I mean, it's definitely like, I don't know, I think it's just too artsy fartsy for me when the actors are the ones moving the set pieces within the scene. And I think it's because I, I'm i following these characters and their storylines. And when I see that they're the ones moving the set with no purpose, it's just really odd to me. And it takes me out of the moment because here they are being in the scene. And then this person's like, yeah, I'm going to move this chair. Why? To hit its mark. And I'm like, you know, I don't know, maybe it's just difference of opinions and stuff, but I would love to know your thoughts about the direction as we continue watching. One song, one last refrain, glory from the pretty boy front man. Ooh, come on now. Wasted opportunity. One song, he had the world at his feet, glory in the eyes of a young girl. Ooh, come on now. A young girl. Find glory beyond the cheap colored lights. Ooh. One song before the sun sets. Glory on another empty life. Tom is making great choices as Roger and being able to feel the sense of regret. I mean, to be able to, to have the music, the girl and the glory and, uh, you know, and also a regret that you had it all and you didn't even know. Time flies, time
So something I always say, especially when you're performing a song, is if your character is becoming repetitive or has a certain phrase that they keep saying, you have to ask yourself, why is this person saying it? And don't get me wrong, Tom is singing this beautifully, but in a weird way, he's sort of giving it one color, one mood. I keep saying this, he could have different colors and it could be even just by looking in different directions of glory and looking from within and then maybe glory looking for hope or looking up at April. And that's also another like sense of direction or even he's like glory and he looks at his guitar or what other uh, like items and stuff that allows you to understand what is he referring to when he keeps singing, you know, glory over and over. But I will say, I love the fact that there is no pause between glory and then find. It's a great way that feels a sense of propel where um, he's emphasizing the want and to find the solution. And a song that rings true, truth like the blazing fire and eternal flame. One song, a song about love, glory from the soul. So at first I thought the chair was representation of April, but then he sat in it and I'm like, dang it. So what was the purpose of the chair moving there except for to set up the scene for him to sit in it? You know what I mean? Of a young man, a young man. Before the virus takes hold, glory like a sunset. One song to redeem this empty life. Time flies. And then I honestly thought I was going to be gushing over this, but what in the reggae is happening in the background? And again, I'm like, this guy is such a great singer awesome performer, hilarious. And it amazes me how a direction or a background sounds can actually take you out of it. Like this, uh, I don't know. Thank goodness. At least Tom's vocals are absolutely like killing this. No need to endure anymore. Time dies. The door. The door. <laughs> I promise this will not be the last Tom Francis video. I know that there's more songs that he does with the character Mimi and Rent and stuff, but I will say this, um, he's great in it and I do love his choices, but I know that there's things in it that I'm like, no, why? And I get very opinionated and upset. And I don't know, maybe it'll be entertaining for you. Uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. I just know that I would love to know your perspective about this performance. And also, do you know, I mean, listen, I love Adam Pascal. Do you know any performances that Adam's done that you would love to see on this channel? Uh, nothing's really coming to mind because I don't know, there's just a lot. Uh, but yeah, I would love to know your opinion on this. Is there any Adam Pascal stuff? And if you're still here, don't forget to like and subscribe the video. I, at this point, I don't know what the count is because I know we're close to a thousand, but hey, I'm just a girl on the couch enjoying musicals. And I think that's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, without further ado, take care, darlings.